Griff. Griff. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Biff, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on over here. Letterman's over. It's over. Show's over. This is Friday Night Videos. It's over? Yeah, take off. Talk to you later. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Drumming 101. My name is Jonathan Brandmeyer. I'm from Chicago at a radio station called The Loop. You, too, can learn to drum like this gentleman behind me. Yes, how many times have you said to yourself, how can I learn to drum like Phil Collins himself? Watch this simple and easy test. Watch. You've got to change your evil ways. Baby, before, before I, I, stop, I stop loving you. It's, it's one, two, one, two, three. You've one, got to two. change your evil ways. You got to change your evil ways, ba baby. I tell you what, I'm going to work on him, and we'll uh, be back with some uh, videos and some other exciting well, stuff. Phil Collins and uh, Jonathan Brandmeyer well, on one, Friday Night Video. One, two, three. You got to change your evil ways. It's a simple song. One, two, three, four. One, one. two, three, four. Tonight on Friday Night Videos, your hosts are Phil Collins and Chicago's Jonathan Brandmeyer. And now, Phil Collins and Jonathan Brandmeyer. <laughs> No, it's evil ways, and we'll talk about it later on. Okay, well, you know. Two uh, sticks, it's a big you song. You should have told me I had to rehearse something. Don't I worry know. about it. Uh, Phil Collins, I think we all know you. I know, yeah, <laughs> that's right. We all know Hi. me. Do you know me? Sure I do. Well, I'm here to teach you how to drum tonight. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I work in Chicago. Can I have that package for a second? One, one other thing, before I, before I do this, uh, this thing, when they found out I was coming to a Friday Night Videos mm -hmm. and, and I was going to be with you, uh, before I do this, tell me the story, because a lot, of, a lot of times you'll do a... There'll be an album coming out, like, for example, No Jacket Required. Yeah. Okay, by the way, you like our jackets? Hey, it's the Almost Blue Brothers. The Almost Blue Brothers. Hey. This mm. is, I have little lines in my mouth. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Well, I'll just save up for my lines. It's a little bit different. I'm going to save my own lines. Um, so, and, you know, you get an album out, and there's stories about it. So, the, the, tell me the story about No Jacket Required, real quick, for those people who, who don't really know it. Just oh, to make sure I'm right on this. Okay, well, it was the Ambassador East. Yes. The hotel in Chicago. <laughs> I can't mention the name of the hotel, but it's the Ambassador East in Chicago. And we were staying there with Robert Plant, and they wouldn't let me in the bar because I had a leather jacket that cost about three or four hundred dollars. But they said it wasn't the right kind of leather jacket because it wasn't a proper jacket. So they sent me upstairs to get another jacket, but I wouldn't go downstairs uh, in my other jacket because I felt I had a banner of principle. I was spending enough money on the room, and therefore why should I have to go back down to the bar and do all that stuff? So you're at, you're at the hotel, you walk down, you go down for dinner, and they say, um, uh, Phil Collins, you were with Robert Plant at the time? I was with Robert Plant Was Robert at the time? dressed nicely? He was dressed nicely. Uh huh. Uh huh. So he got to go in, and you had to go back up to he your room? He got in, he had a very loud suit on. And I had a leather jacket, and they wouldn't let me in. Okay, so me, no I'm jacket required. But, but it must have been, it must have really <laughs> affected you to name an album after it—a Grammy award-winning album, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? No. <laughs> uh, I mean to go. I mean, what, did you have an, in your mind? You're saying, I don't know what to name this album. I think I'll go back in my room and sulk because I couldn't get into the restaurant, and I'll call it No Jacket Required. Well, I, you have to call it something. Okay. Well, let me. Can I have that plaque here? So the pump room found out about it, <laughs> and uh, you have a gift certificate for free dinner, but. I'm sure you're gonna. I'm sure you're gonna use that. Um, it's the pimp room, it says. Yes. Ooh, see, you're gonna be sorry, folks. You sent this plaque along to Mr. Collins. Uh, here it is. Uh, this certificate. In, well, here you can read the uh, certificate. This certificate entitles Phil Collins admittance to Chicago's pump room. No jacket required. And uh, but I don't think you really want to go there, do you? I think it's very, very nice that? of them. Very nice of them. Thank you very, very much. Shut I feel very up. bad now. Really? Nah. He doesn't. I had Billy Joel in the studio with me once, and Billy Joel was, and Billy Joel was just about to play for us, and he said, don't jack around with me, I am having a kidney problem. And I said, a kidney problem? You liar? And he said, I'm not lying, and it turned out to be that he actually had a kidney problem. So I said to him, well, you got a kidney problem. We didn't start the fire. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Don't call it the uh, Phil Collins is out with a uh, with a new album. It's called But Seriously, ladies and gentlemen. True. Watch this interview. There is something I do detect in this new album. I, not only is it entitled But Seriously, but there's something... I don't know what, what I read, one of your bios or what. It said, you've got a chip on your shoulder, and you want people to know that this is the first Phil Collins solo record in five years. Did you feel like what, there was like people going, every time I turn the radio on, oh, it's yeah, Phil yeah. Collins. Every time I look at the video, it's Phil Collins. It's true, yeah. But... Because, like, it's, uh, my solo career is kind of different from all the other things I do, but I guess people do think that it's just another Phil Collins record, but it really isn't. It's my first record for five years, you know. There is something on your video, your, your new video. I, I think this one we're going to see. There's a sign. You've got to tell me about this. There's a billboard that says, 
Don't give. Yeah, see, it's, uh, it says, uh, don't give money to the beggars they cause, don't give money to beggars they cause traffic jams. traffic jams. Now, where did that sign come from? I'm not, I'm not actually sure what town it came from, because the guys that, that uh, put the photographs together, I saw most of the photographs, but that particular one, I have no idea where it came from. It's unbelievable that people will actually take the time and trouble to print something 40 foot by 20 foot, put that up. I mean, isn't it unbelievable? Unbelievable. The new album. The new album. The new video. I the think new video. The new video. Another Day in Paradise? Yeah. Yes. This is it. This is it. Phil, play Proud Mary! Play it! I can't play it. You can't play Proud no. Mary? Left a good job in the city. Working for that man every night and day. Then I never... Hey, how are we going to be a lounge act in these bad suits if we don't get some acts together? We got a proud mirror, we got a tie yellow ribbon, we got to celebrate good times. Come on. So you know that one. Yeah. That's what worries me. You don't know proud mirror, but you know celebrate. Well, I was born a poor black child. <laughs> we'll be uh, right back, I believe, on Friday Night Videos. Stay with us. Well, these guys uh, have not invited Phil Collins to play with them, but it doesn't matter. They're almost over with that big tour. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Stones rock to the hard place. Right here at Friday Night Video. I'm not even in the video either. Phil, this is your favorite band, Soul to Soul. I was just telling you how much I knew about these gentlemen, and I think there's some ladies in this, too. Yeah, it's Soul to Soul, and it's called Back to Life. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. As we go into these commercials, Phil Collins is going to play in the air tonight. We finally talked him into it here. I'm Jonathan Brandmeyer from Chicago in New York on this here television program, and this is Phil Collins. Phil, we'll be right back. You want to play now? Yes. Yep. Just for me. Just play. Yeah, we're going to play for them. Okay. I can feel... That was so super. Yeah, it was probably the best I've sung it. Woo! It's the best, Woo! best I've sung it. Sister Studio! You enjoyed it, did you? Oh, that was great. I actually saw a guy at a show. Phil's doing a show in uh, Chicago. T tell me about that. You're playing against all odds. And you love people that get into the show and get excited about it, but this guy was going, you're playing, take a no. look at me now. And he's going, woo, woo, woo. And you just wanted to pull a gun, right? You just wanted to kill him. I saw you looked at the guy like, I will yes. kill you. Yeah, I know. And that was Mike Rutherford. It really bothered me. It's frustrating when that happens because, you know, it's like, there, you're great. You know, yeah. But you just wish they'd have waited the right moment. Rod Stewart's got a new video out, and yet I sense another bit of friction from Phil Collins. Mr. Nice Guy, we are learning on this program, has a lot of riffs going with some very, very big influential performers, Rod Stewart being one of them. And this is his video, Downtown Train. Jonathan Brandmeier. Jonathan Brandmeier back right in that video. Don't go away. We're going to hear uh, Phil Collins now play A Groovy Kind of Love. I think you're going to enjoy it here in our Love Dart Lounge in New York City. You want me to play? You know how it starts? I know how it starts, thank All you. Right. Yes. Time now to play Word Association game. Our guest tonight, Phil Collins. Phil, welcome to the set. Friday Night Videos. Thank you. We're going to be showing a medley of some uh, of your songs. We want you to tell True. us briefly what each of these songs means to you. In well, the air tonight. This is the first one. You In can't hurry love. This is the second one. You can't hurry love. Susudio. That's the third one. By the way, what does Susudio mean? Well, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just a word that sounded good to you. Exactly. All right, that's the correct answer. One more night. This is the fourth song. Don't lose my number. That's the next one. Take Me Home is about, tell me if I'm right, is it about taking someone home or you going home yourself or being near a home? No, it's actually about the uh, mental asylums. Uh, don't, let, don't let's get brought down. Um, groovy kind of love, this is next. The word groovy, what year was it used first? 65. And by who? Not the Mindbenders, and I don't believe no, it, was it was used not. before the Mindbenders. It was not the Mindbenders, no. it was Peter Brady. Two heats. <laughs> I'm sorry, two hearts. Two hearts. Ah, that's wrong, two heats. Two, two hearts in heat. It's two halves, actually. It was two hearts. It was supposed to be what? Two halves. Two halves? Two halves. Halves? Halves. halves. Fireplace. <laughs> halves. I'm sorry. The rain in Spain is another day in paradise. paradise. This is correct. And that was the That's last right. Song. That was Phil Collins. You're correct on all kinds except the groovy word. Peter Brady will be our guest next week here on Friday Night Videos. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jonathan Brandmeier. And I'm not. Right now. Uh, Tommy, because they've gone through a lot of trouble to dig up tons of footage, and they, and they really, really need some good voice over here. Well, uh, what do I say? Um, Patty LaBelle, she was great. Uh, Elton was there. Now, did Patty LaBelle that night? Did she hog the mic like she did on the uh, at the end of? Uh, oh no! What was that? Where was that? Where, where Patty LaBelle kept grabbing? Yeah! And she just kept grabbing the mic away, and people were 
Well, trying no, to get it on Tommy, was it? No, what was we it? We Are the World? In, I think it was the We Are the World. No, yeah. no, Live Aid. Maybe yeah, it was We that. Are the World. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I said, We Are the World and Live Aid. Well, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think she did that, Tommy. No, no, no. I don't. She no. was all right. She was very good, yes. Yeah. Uh, Billy Idol, he was a bit over the top, but then that's Billy. Was he out there? He was a nice guy, though. Yeah? Yeah. Was he gone I met, that I met night? His, met his mum and dad, actually. <laughs> you don't <laughs> think Billy Idol's got a mum and dad, do you, really? <laughs> but he has, and I met them. They're very nice people. Really? Come on in now. No, he's a nice guy. Nice guy, Billy. Yeah. Very nice guy. Very, very nice guys. A very, very nice guy. So what did Billy Idol do on stage at Tommy to get you all upset? Didn't do anything to me. So you got a lot of grapes. You can't get invited to play with the Stones. <laughs> you hate Billy Idol. Pat LaBelle grabbed the mic out of your hand. No, he just he just went a little bit over the top. And you but can't play evil ways. That's, uh, I know. That's the real rub, isn't it? But uh, he was very, very good. But anyway, everyone knows about what I do. Yeah. Everyone knows that. I, everyone knows that I work a lot. But they don't know the other side of John Brandmeier. And this is... Uh, uh, can often be found... At Poplar Creek, <laughs> outselling Genesis and Phil Collins tickets. Good, good setup. <laughs> and uh, he can he can be found playing with his band, the Leisure Suits. Yes. Yes. The Leisure Suits. The Leisure Suits. Yes. And it's uh, it's a wonderful thing, and we have some footage right here, I believe. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful thing. It's uh, the new video from Kicks. Don't close your eyes, and they're very good because they're on Atlantic Records. Oh yeah. Now, is that right? Was that a proper wipeout? Is that nope. pretty good? It wasn't? Well, it was close. Okay, uh, we're going to come back here in a second. Jonathan Brandmeier on Friday Night Videos with uh, Phil Collins. And Phil, my, my fa I think my favorite song you ever did, really, was probably Brown Sugar. Um, oh, you mean, well, I called it Against All Odds. Against All Odds, yeah. Against All Odds, yeah, that's Brown Sugar. Rachel Ward, the movie thing. That's right. Grammy Award winning. Uh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice song. Brown Sugar, no. How can I just let you walk to, uh, to come down here, I said, uh, can I bring some listeners from the radio show? Can I bring some listeners with us? And we asked the listeners in Chicago to... It's your listener, isn't it? Yeah, we asked. We asked that one listener of mine to put together a video, his favorite Phil Collins song, and make his own home, home music video. Yeah. And you've seen some of the videos that actually were running on this show, and those people are not contestants. He, we said, take your favorite Phil Collins record, mm -hmm. okay, and make your own Phil Collins music video. However you interpret a particular song. This guy did it to a groovy kind of love from that uh, movie, uh, Buster. Anytime you want to, you can I don't know. What's he doing? I saw mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. <laughs> what a doll. What a doll, yeah. So we've got the we've got we kind of love on this, and you know there is definitely a family somewhere thinking that you've just released the worst video they've ever seen. It's not it's not my hairline. Uh, <laughs> One appearance the, on Friday Night Videos that you are shot. That's right, career in tatters. Hi. You see, it was so real we actually waved. Yeah. Through. And this was the winner, huh? Yeah, this is actually the winner. So one of the things he wanted was he got a chance to come out here and uh, and meet Phil Collins personally. Let's now embarrass him on national television uh, from Chicago. Michael Rabb is the guy that put that video together. He's uh, a winner from where? Come on down, Michael Rabb. Say hi to Phil Collins, Michael. Yeah, hey, how's it going, Phil? Very good, thank you. How you doing, good, Johnny? You, here, why don't you sit oh, on my lap? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely yeah. got one of the uh, less attractive regular, yeah. ladies for a girlfriend I've ever seen. I, I think the problem with the video is was he didn't look like he was joking at all. No. I was scared. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't actually get to the part, folks, where he actually lays on top of the Raggedy Ann doll. <laughs> so at the who very was end. taking the video? Was it a good friend of yours? Or? Yeah, it was my Bob friend Jerry. Jerry. Yeah, he's over on the side. There. Jerry's there too. Bring Jerry out. Jerry, come on, Jerry, I'll say hello. Come on, I'll say hello. We used. <laughs> you cannot videotape. You cannot videotape. It's, it's this is illegal. Yeah. No, we got rights. Pleased nice to meet you, Jerry. Yeah. Nice to meet you, buddy. John. So two grown men and a doll, huh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Three's company. Three's company. <laughs> Dude, where did you get the idea for this? Uh, just popped up when, in my head. <laughs> Think of something just, just like popping popping up. up you will know? be uh, right back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Blue moon. You've got to change your evil ways. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blue moon. You've got to change those crazy evil ways. We learned a lot here tonight on Friday Night Videos, and I want to thank you people at home for staying up this late and watching us. Phil Collins, That's this me. album is but seriously... That's mine. That's his. I'm Jonathan Brandmeier. I'm, I'm not in Chicago. Me. He's not. We're on the loop. And this is our winner's date. Thank you so much for joining us. And have a good day. We say have a good goodbye. Day.
Goodbye, good, goodbye. Good, have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good night. Good night. Hey, have you, why don't you have a job? Why are you staying up so late? Huh? Bye. Let's go home.